This week on Popcorn Vendors, we talk about toadies, uh, bowling alleys, <laughs> Veggie Tales in the house, I think, and our maybe trip to New York. Mm. Mm. This, this week, week on, on Popcorn, Popcorn Vendors. Vendors. Actually, you're going to hate me here. All right. Do you want to start from the beginning? Because I was sleepwalking through that whole thing. We were all, I can hear us, and we're all like, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, we're having a little challenge here. We're going to be as high energy as we possibly can muster, and then we will crash as soon as we say goodbye. Awesome. Ready? One, three, two, two three. One. Welcome this? to Popcorn oh. Vent. Oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. No. <laughs> we it. have to do it again. Yeah, ready? Take One. two. Boop. Ener- oh, look at the little voice themes. They went like all the way. I know. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Think more energy than loud. Okay. Ready? ready? One, two, three. Welcome, Welcome everybody, everybody to Popcorn, Popcorn Vendors. Vendors. I'm your host, Tim. I'm your host, the cool guy, Colpster29. And this week, what? we're going to talk about That's his email. Yeah. That's his email, colpster29 at gmail.com. <laughs> at Outlook. You know that's Just an kidding. actual email somewhere. It is Gmail. All right. So, yeah. As I was saying, mm-hmm. I went bowling yesterday. Oh, with, you weren't sane, but. I was sane. Uh, Actually, it was just before this podcast turned on. So, all right. You know you're over. You know what? What? Go ahead. All right. You, I so will. You, you, I will. You went bowling. I'm actually very intrigued. <laughs> okay, you went bowling. good. <laughs> I went bowling with a group of theater kids and name their one name. of one of which <gasps> is the director for 90% of our shows and like 80, so. You know what, Tim? <laughs> More like 75. More like 100% of the camps. So. <gasps> <laughs> what? <laughs> and <laughs> none of us knew how to bowl. Which was pretty sad. You know like, what? I knew, the, the, I knew how to bowl. Well, I could have probably beat all of you. I didn't ask you, did I? No. <laughs> Stop talking. That's what I thought. No, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 okay, but the highest... <laughs> the highest score mm-hmm. that any of us bowled was 103. And That's so lame. I did not bowl it. The average that we all got was like... About 65 to 70. <laughs> it sounds so bad. We, but uh, it's I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say. I'm not. Actually, you know what? I am a very good bowler. Well, I got a strike. You know what? You just said that, and I told you no one asked, and here we are again. So how do you think <laughs> I feel right now? Like you got a bunch of information you didn't want to know, but you needed to know. That's not what I, you are wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. But we weren't using the little bumpers. Okay. Oh, I okay then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never so, mind. I'm not a good hard. bowler then. But the hot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Tim! No. <laughs> like, oh, if I can't use the little dinosaur thingy that like helps guide the oh, ball. Oh, the dinosaur thingy. <laughs> I used it, and my ball went straight into the gutter. So. I need that. That okay. needs to be allowed in the b- professional leagues. Oh, I see. <laughs> you using this dinosaur help? Okay, but. Funny oh, okay. story. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny story. I'm laughing already. <laughs> I bet you're thinking, Colby, you never have funny stories. Well, <laughs> oh. you'd be correct. Because <laughs> when do I tell stories on the podcast? Never, guys, never. Absolutely never. Okay, but um, mm-hmm. the the friends, the brochacho, the uh, nacho queen, because it rhymes with brochacho, like nacho, she was like, uh, Colby, <laughs> this time you should like throw, like, okay, I'm going to get up. Where it's like, you know when you they put, can't see. You know when you I'll put narrate. the ball like in between your legs and then oh, yeah. you roll it like this. Yeah, yeah. I I am sure so the people it's, in the it's audience. Like the, it's like the grandma bowl to anyone. The grand the grandma bowl. And she was like, you gotta do the grandma bowl, <laughs> but do it backwards and then throw it like this. So and I Kobe, did that, and so, that was the only strike I got all day. Are you kidding? Me? I'm I'm serious. So you like you stood backwards away from the bowling pins and i did the spread, grandma bowl spread your legs and then shot it between your legs and i got a strike you got it and i never got another strike like all day <laughs> guys Kobe, i still want you to go like to the professionals and i just be at the, every time just like the backwards grandma throw <laughs> anyways moral of the story is please grandma bowl um this has been our podcast. Good night, everyone. Come back next time. Actually, it isn't. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, today's topic is... 
Well, you know what just happened last Chinese week? Chinese food. Like one week from today. We went to Peiwei. No, we uh we went to the, the Toadie Awards. That was one week from today. Whoa. I know that went by fast. Mm -hmm. I feel weird. All right. So Right. One thing that you remember most about the Toadies. Wait, we need to what is it? We didn't explain this. It's so. okay. Okay. The Toadie Awards, for those who don't know, we have a we go to or at least did go to a local theater and every year they have this Tony Awards parody and it's called the Toadie Awards. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty So cool. we have some opinions on it. Oh yeah, man. But they're they're gonna be nice because we're not yeah, mean they're, people. They're gonna be nice. Yeah, gonna be nice. yeah, we're not here to it's diss on good. the toadies. Yeah. But I love that thing. Um Okay, let's just dive into the most controversial topic right off the bat. Best oh. show. Mm. It was Honk James. Jr. Oh. That James one. should have won best <gasps> show. I actually agree with you on that. Uh -huh. James is yeah. like my all time favorite musical I've seen at the act. I know, right? Like that I've seen, not that I've been, but yeah, because literally everyone wanted it to win too. Well, apparently not everyone because Hong Junior won. Okay, but so the, many people the were screaming. Are the ones that voted? That's right. I know. Dang it, adults. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> but you cook me. No, not on yeah, my bed. Not my... on my. All right. Anyways. Oh dear. I'll get the paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. One thing. That you remember most or took away from that night. Okay, uh, well, I guess my favorite thing was probably some of the acceptance speeches. Because those some of those were so heartfelt that it just got to me. And you cried. I didn't. I didn't cry. <laughs> I didn't cry. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever. What? So, let me tell you. What, what was your takeaway from the Toady Awards? Yeah, um, when we were all in the back, it was me, you, and a couple of the other boys. Yo! And we were, well, I don't know if this is what I took away the most, but we were talking about riddles. And oh, I don't know why. I remember that, yeah. It was like, you can only turn one light switch on and go upstairs once. And one of the light switches turns the light upstairs on. But which light switch is it? So you know, what I mean. you know. What I'm yeah, yeah. And so then us bro timing with the riddles, and then also I got to perform everywhere that you are one last time. And that was a lot of fun. Cause I, that's I, a pretty fun song. I can tell you were gonna try to give the glasses back to James. I was not actually. I thought so. you were. I thought you did it during one of the rehearsals, didn't you? You tried giving it to him. Did I? I think you did. I don't think I did. And I was cracking up because... I don't think I did. And what I, are you talking about? I think you did. No. Yes. I remember what I do. You don't, apparently. Well, apparently. I have witnesses. I will bring them in here and we'll have a court session and you will be found guilty. Okay. You know what? Fine. Guilty of being not guilty is the only thing I will what? be found guilty of. What? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. But yeah. That was your takeaway? And also, you know what? The whole oh. night, uh huh, it's just a lot of fun. Well, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what do you want to do? Our next topic be? It's time for silly songs with letters. Absolutely not. Wait a minute. Now that you mentioned that, I actually have a little announcement to make. Oh, thank God. Just I'll accompany you. Just keep going. Kobe, It'll you know, be okay. I promise. Today is a very sad day. Because something has been taken away from me. What was it, Tim? It's a Veggie Tales. Tell me why, Tim. Because they've gone out of business. Will you stop? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in an emotional state here. What are you doing? Veggie Tales went out of business? Yes. Stop it! I'm having a hard time with this. I, I watched that show since I was four years old. Boy. Okay, well, I'll stop. I'll stop. Yeah, they went out of business. Is it because people don't watch it anymore? The reason I think is because of the whole redesigning of the characters. Do you remember that? <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. because so, of Veggie Tales in the House and then Veggie Tales in the City, it killed it. Well, you killed VeggieTales. Were people watching it, though? 
like few people. I had one of my friends tell me that her, his younger siblings loved that. Oh. But I was like, what are you talking about? That That is, it's so stupid. Well, I, you know what? It probably went out of business because it's been around for so long. No, people were... Too people, much of a good thing, you know? People were watching it, like, all the way up to 2013. And then, like, somewhere in, like, 2015, they put it on Netflix. Uh-huh. And then it just it kept on getting smaller. The budget got smaller. And that's why, Colby, I couldn't find Big Idea when I went to Nashville. Oh... Yeah, I, I remember, remember when that. I remember when I said it's like in the room was empty. Yeah, it's because they went out of business. I know. And now my dream of working for Big Idea as a part time thing e is gone. That's sad. We need to give Veggie Tales the proper burial that it deserves. <clears throat> Kobe, favorite silly songs of Larry song go. A sport utility vehicles is pretty high up there. I'd have to say that's one of my favorites. Wait, you seen it? Oh, I've seen all the silly songs. You have? Oh yeah, the pizza one is probably my favorite. Pizza Angel. Pizza Angel. Please you actually to listen to the silly songs? Tomato sauce and cheese so gooey. Oh my goodness! Pizza Angel, I'm on my knees. Oh, oh! <laughs> I can't believe this. All this time I didn't know. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Oh yeah. I thought you hated Veggie Tales. I don't hate it. I used to watch it when I was like seven. So, Pizza Angel is your favorite sport utility vehicle. Is mine? Yeah. Either because there are some good ones. Like there's Pizza Angel, Boys in the Sink. <gasps> wait, uh, wait. Which one? Which Boys in the Sink? Like the one about socks. There was. Are you talking about that? The B O Y Z dance. We gotta change this topic now. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I went to go see Jersey Boys the other day, and I have go- have we got a story for you? Hey, just kidding. That details about a business now. Oh <gasps> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why yeah. do you hurt me? Okay, but we went there, and we went to the box office. Okay. And if I have a student ID, we can get the best non-sold seats in the house for twenty dollars. Twenty at uh, twenty-five dollars. <laughs> there were thousands of people. There were five tiers. And we were sitting on the bottom floor, like really close to the stage. Because you were the only student there. Yeah, I was. I was the Re- only student there. Really? Well, uh, to all those podcast listeners, I already went over hey. this story with Tim. Mm-hmm. And there were a lot of elderly people there. Oh, and I only yeah. spotted, I think, four other teenagers. And there were thousands of people there. So just to put that in retrospective. <laughs> and But I sat really close to the stage. And it was great. Like, it was... Like, one of the best shows I've ever seen. Wait, and, Jer- Jersey Boys is a Broadway play? Yeah, it's about the four seasons. This boy band, the OG One Direction, that was popular in, like, 1950, like, 1949, something like that. Uh-huh. 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 And uh-huh. it's about these four, just these four boys and how they met and how they, like, rose to stardom. And, like, the entire soundtrack uh-huh. is songs that they really sang. Like, in the 40s and 50s. Like, that's the entire soundtrack. And they're mm. all, like, really, like, they're all, like, some good songs, too. Like, like during, like, half their songs. Because I was sitting in a seat. Like, I was sitting, like, you know when you go to operas mm. and on the right and left. I've never been to an opera, but go Well, on you know there. what I mean. Yeah. When I'm going to say, on the right and left, there are, like, these boxes that really rich people sit in. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, we were, and they had their little spectacles and yeah. they looked through them. And we were we were in one of those boxes, but like on the first floor. And it was like 20 seat, twenty seats on the That's right. That's nice. And then 20 seats on the left. That's so nice. I know. It was awesome. And we were sitting on the right. So like, oh, I already forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> okay. But it was like, it was a really good show. And the fact that we were so close made it so much better. Because we went to go see Something Rotten there, like, whenever Something Rotten was performing, oh, like, a year ago. Oh, uh, I want to see that. And one. we sat in the fifth tier, so it was way up there. And you could literally only see, like, the actors' heads. And, like, you couldn't even read the signs or props or nothing. That stinks. Why do they even sell those? I have no idea. They're literally, like, $50. That's why you need to bring binoculars. I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I was like, next time I sit in the fifth tier, I'm going to bring binoculars. I've actually thought that before. My goodness. But yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, I remember where I was going. Uh, (laughs) I was saying we got those seats $25 each, me and my mom. 
Oh, wow. I paid 25 Well, I didn't pay $25. But it was $25 each for each of us. Mm-hmm. And we were so close to the stage. And literally, the worst seats in the house, which is way up in the back of the fifth tier, uh-huh. they're like $55. So it was, it was awesome. Just because you were a student? Yeah, because students, like, don't even know about that. It's called Student Rush. And I think it's kept, like, on the down low. Why don't they advertise it? I don't, I don't They'd know. probably get a lot more young people there. Probably. Well, no, because if they did advertise it, then students would just go and pay $25. Because the seats we were sitting in cost, like, $130. Man, I want to sit in all those seats. I want to go to Broadway. I want to go to Broadway, too. We I, okay. should go together. Let's so go. And we I can... don't really want to go to New York alone. Also, you know what? So. We can have a road trip podcast. Wait, what are the odds that you'd really go to New York with me? Like, for real? You know what? I I could get some time off for the summer. Oh, yeah. Because no. I want to go during the summer. Let's do it. Okay. Like, seriously, let's do it. You want to do it? Yeah, I do. I really do. We, we can find a cheap hotel. Yeah, because I want to go in the Woo! I want to go in the summer. Yeah, because Be More Chill's performing in Broadway, like just for the summer. Because yeah. I want to see Be More Chill and Anastasia. <laughs> Wait, what? Not Wicked or Hamilton? Wicked's not performing, and I've already seen Hamilton online. See, that's why bootlegs are bad. Exactly. Now he'll never see it. <laughs> um, oh dear, Kevin Bacon. I mean, dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> Wait, what's that from? It's from that big Christmas play. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dear Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Dear Kevin. Oh, I auditioned there. I, I, told, they, you, I and... told you I was auditioning. Oh. But I never caught you up on it. Right. I auditioned there. I got a call back. I did not get into the show, which is too bad. But <laughs> it's okay because... That stinks. I, I auditioned there. I got a call back. And I met a lot of cool kids like my age that mm. actually go to my church. And I don't think i've talked about my church in this podcast before but i don't really know that many people there like i do know people there but i don't really know that many people there i think you mentioned it a couple times yeah maybe once or twice Mm -hmm. and uh but i met some people like at the callbacks Mm -hmm. that i'm like friends with now and i can like talk to them during church which is oh great yeah which is good so like even if i didn't get in the show at least and it's fine anyways because that gives me the opportunity to audition for either Chicago, Chicago, which is in Plano, uh-huh. or just Madagascar at the at because I love both Madagascar and Chicago, and Chicago is like only high school age, so it'll be like, I don't know, but it's really good because their music is all like razzle dazzle music. What? Give them the old razzle dazzle. So it's like it's like fifties music. I don't know how to explain it. But, like, it's got this type of music that's, like, really appealing. And mm-hmm. it's just a good show. And Madagascar is a great show. And, uh, well, I don't know anyone doing it, but that's okay because it's Madagascar, dude. So. All know. right. Well, yeah. So, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Back to the topic of us going to New York. Oh, yeah. For a fun, 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 fun time. What will we do there fun, besides? Fun, 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 fun. How, because those Broadway tickets cost a lot. I mean. I know. Like, how? what will we be doing there? I want to walk around as much as I can. Like, like I want to see the Met steps, but I think that's in Brooklyn. And you don't want to see the Statue of Liberty. I am. I I've seen. <laughs> well, I I actually don't really want to see the Statue of Liberty because I I think the Met steps are in Brooklyn, and I hear that Brooklyn is like far away from Broadway places. But I think I don't I don't know. But I I just I want to. You know, I, I want it all. <laughs> High School Musical 2, baby. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try as hard as I can to go, like, this summer. Because Sarai is going on vacation twice this year. What? And I'm pretty sure she's been on vacation, like, recently. And the last time I was on vacation was a, a while ago. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready. But yeah, we'll see if we can do it. Because I feel like I'm the only one... I know who hasn't been to New York, like literally the only one. So we got to. I know what happen. you mean. I, I'm also a noob. Oh, like also, I kind of want to go see Frozen. Like, I want to see the Be Frozen More Chill, Bro- Anastasia, and Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, you know how much that would cost? That was like a thousand bucks right there, which mm. you just spewed out for you, <laughs> not for me. Well, we'd probably get the far back seats, you know, like. We could bring our binoculars. That's not, not the got same. Got you. 
I'd rather watch a YouTube bootleg. <laughs> it's about the same quality of an experience I would get. <laughs> hey, you pessimist. And with that, this, this has, has been... been Popcorn, popcorn vendors. vendors. If you would like to email us, you can do so by emailing us at the popcorn vendors podcast at gmail.com. Listen to us on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, one other one I can't remember. Player FM. That's right. This yeah. has been Popcorn, popcorn vendors. vendors. And also a shout out to Maggie because she listens to our show. Oh, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. She listens to like everyone. So I, I can't believe it. No, Maggie. <laughs> Yo, I'm here with my friend Colby doing a podcast, and he's making me doing this little rap, and I don't wanna, but I'm gonna, 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 gonna. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank you. All right, all right, all right.